jQuery will help you build your dot com. Find an element inside of the DOM. Ajax traversal manipulation, event handling, and animation. Providing you with versatility, an API with extensibility. jQuery is something you can ignore. Write less, do more. You're watching Try jQuery, and this is level four. In this section, we're going to be going over this web page you see here. We've got one vacation, and we want to look at the flight details, so we'll click the flight details button, and it'll give us more information about that flight. So how might we implement that? Well, let's take a look inside the HTML first. Here is our confirmation list item. Inside of that, we have a button labeled flight details, and then we have an unordered list which has those extra details which get shown when we click the button. So clicking this button will show the ticket here. To set this up, we're first going to set a CSS style on the ticket class to display none so that it starts out as hidden when we first load the page. There's three steps to making this work. First, we're going to watch for the click event, then we're going to find the ticket, and then show it. First thing we need to do is write our event handler. We'll grab the confirmation li, and then when there's a button inside of that which gets clicked, we're going to run some code. In our case, we want to grab the button. We're going to search up through the ancestors of the button to find the closest confirmation class. Then we're going to search back down through the children to find elements with the ticket class. To show this UL, we're going to use the slide down method. Slide down would show it, slide up would hide it, and then slide toggle, well, is going to toggle between the two states. So let's do slide down like so. So let's go ahead and try this in our browser, but it doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. We're going to have to figure out how to debug this JavaScript. And uh, one of the most basic ways we can start debugging is with the alert function. You're probably familiar with this. You call alert in your JavaScript, and you get this little pop-up. This is JavaScript, not necessarily jQuery. And then another useful thing to know about debugging is if we fetch a DOM element using jQuery and call dot .length on it, it will give us how many nodes are on that page. So if there was three list items, it would return three. We can combine these two to see if there's any buttons on the page when this alert gets run, right? So we fetch the buttons and call dot length. Oh, what we found here is that it's zero. Oh, so it's not finding any buttons. That's probably because we're not wrapping this code in a DOM ready function. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're using document ready, just like so. And now when we load our page, ah, our alert pops up one. So it did find the button. So let's go ahead and jump back into our web page. And yep, oh, when we click flight details, it properly slides down. Time for you to jump into the challenges, and I'll see you in the next section.